Next up, we're going to touch upon these Salihi Bembry Wallabies. They look pretty cool. Not going to lie. Um, you know, I've had my, uh, love hate relationship with Salihi Bembry and his approach to releasing stuff. And basically, in, he kind of feels like he enjoys making it, but doesn't care too tough about the release. You know, whoever gets them, gets them. And if you don't get them, you know, oh well, <laughs> it is what it is. But, these Clark shoes that he's put together look really, really impressive. They kind of remind me of the old Padmore, is it Padmore Barnes? I think Clark Wallaby from back in the days. Um, I forgot the name of it, but there's a particular brand, a particular model of a Wallaby that you used to get where the laces were on the side. And I remember them being very popular. If I remember correctly, Supreme may have done a collaboration with Clark's, with that kind of model, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I can quickly find it. It was a Supreme Clark's collab. I'm sure they did one. It sort of had the laces on the side as well. I'm not sure what that model is actually called, but they were really, really cool design. I remember having a pair in brown, um, this suede brown that I bought from Clark's as well, because that was a time when they used to kind of put those um, models out. But let me see if I can find them. I think it was a Clark's collaboration with Supreme. Let me see if I can find them with the images here. Scrolling. Oh, look at those Prada moon boots here on the top. They look really cool, isn't it? These ones there. Prada nylon gabardine boots. Ooh, après. Um, anyway, let's continue on here. What have you got here? We've got these ones that look like espadrilles. They're horrible. We've got bandana ones. You've got ones that are maybe more Wu Tang inspired here with the color blocking. I want to see the ones I'm talking about. The ones that have like the laces on the side. I can't actually see them here, but they definitely did one, if I'm mistaken. Yeah, I'm mistaken, or maybe I'm thinking about these with these two little eyelets really high up. I do remember them doing ones with the side on them. Or maybe that's a different one. Let me see here. Oh, I can't see them anywhere actually. Okay, maybe I was maybe I was smoking on that good budge, and I don't remember them being there. But I do remember them. Let's see. Let's see if I can do um, pad more and Barnes. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see if that maybe come might come up. Uh, pad more and Barnes. Uh, let's see here. Nope, 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 nope. Ooh, this, I, I don't know what the, I wish I could find out what the model of them is called. If you know, let me know. But look, there's definitely, these are the pairs I had. I remember having a couple of these nutmeggy brown ones here in the middle of these Padmore Barnes Clarks. Really, 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 really well made. The only reason I hate wallabies wearing them rise is the, is the sole. Especially if someone like me likes to wear shit into the ground. These are like men's version of Ugg boots. The sole wears down so, so quickly. And especially if you walk like I do, like an absolute S word, you end up kind of making them go really, you know, some weird angular shape on the side. It kind of reminds me of when I was in school, you'd have your kind of shoes leaning to one side because of all the pressure you're putting them on that side. So that can be a little bit, you know, of a bummer. These are my, the, the ones I hate the most are these that kind of had this little tip, this little thing that kind of raised up on the front. I thought they they'd look always really, really disgusting. But I can't find the ones with the laces on the side. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's go back to the high piece article. High snobiety, sorry. These ones from Salili Bembry, I'm a really big fan of. I like whatever he's done here on the front, where it looks like a paint splatter mixed in with this really hairy, coarse looking suede new buck material that kind of bleeds or blends into a somewhat plain smoothed um, suede material on the side and this kind of exaggerated thicker outsole which reminds me a lot of the human made or bape type of shoes that used to come out I forgot what they were called it's like these human made let's see if i can find those human made wallabies nigo used to make a lot of these for like for bape back in the day they were like these kind of shoes that had like they had like a really thicker outsole. I'm not sure what the model of it is called. But I remember them having a really weird thick outsole that sort of stuck out on the side. Like sort of similar to that sort of thing. Here they kind of had a bit of a, maybe the, we call it a crepe sole. I'm not sure what it's called that. But it essentially had excess on the side. Because usually wallabies they kind of fall flush. Or they kind of, you know, are a bit tempered on the sides. But I felt like those human ones were a little bit more. Uh, let's see if I can find Nico Bape. Uh, wallabies or crepe soles, crepe shoes. Maybe that will come up there. Let's see if these were the ones. But I remember these being a thing for a while. Can I find these here? They were sort of like an exaggerated outsole on the outside of them that he used to do for bait back in the day. They were really, really cool to look at. Um, but you know, they weren't really that readily really available outside of Japan when they were first made sizes and whatnot. But after time, they did. But then, you know. 
paying 300 quid for that type of shoe when you can get regular clocks on probably wasn't the vibe but anyway i can't find them don't know why they are but believe me they exist right <laughs> believe me again look at the babes of the colorway this is what these guys are missing out on right in my opinion i feel like all these guys that are making the copies of you know supreme you know, regular nike shoes and just basically making the same colorway and just adding a star on it just missed the entire point i feel like what made babes a special was that the colorways are so obscene, so ridiculous, that they couldn't be Nikes. Even if you mistake the silhouette and the paneling for an Air Force One, there's no way you can confuse a Bapester um, for an Air Force One because it was a Bapester, right? The, the pan the no Nike would never do that. Even now, with the abundance of sneakerheads out there and the, you know, sneaker industry being a billion dollar industry nike still don't make crazy wild regular gr air force ones they have to always be collabs like the undefeated ones that came out recently but they don't ever really make crazy normal you know walk into jd sports and see like you know like this color where we've got like an all white base for the most part with a blue mud guard orange eye orange eye stay kind of paneling um green heel tab suede with the logo embossed leather star and two-tone heel tab here you got pink and a black and white insole all white outsole like absolutely banging like i think that sole's even a bit thicker than air force one you don't ever ever see that from flipping these guys that copied the nike design it's so frustrating but anyway let's run back to the casali Bembry things i think these look pretty sick man I'm a, I'm a big fan of these i'm eager to see one of these drops so it's courtesy of high snobiety so Bembry's class collab is definitely not a wallaby um is Ali Bembry collaborating with Clarks? Yes, is it will it be absolutely not. With only one image to go so to go by so far, which comes directly from Bembry's IG. The silhouette in question is the most definitely not a wallaby, but instead a new style that looks to take inspiration for the Clarks Lugger design first released in the eighties. Let's see this. If it's clear, let's see if this is the true. Because I might be the one I'm thinking of. Because I remember having a pair. I I'm pretty sure I've got it on my flicker. Um, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's definitely the one I've got. Okay, cool. This is definitely the one. I've got one of these ones. And I had a Padmo Barnes pair. So it's called a Lugger. That's the model. So it's whatever that is here on the side, as you can see here. There's one here, courtesy of List. It's like an orange suede model with like no lining, which is definitely a pair that you can only wear if you're white. Because you, I feel like white people's feet don't stick as black, much as black people's feet. <laughs> or I don't feel I can wear shoes without no socks for the most part, unless I want my feet to kick. But this has got, you know, a pair with no lining on it. So it's kind of a similar sort of vibe, but they do look absolutely banging. I feel like in terms of a shoe, maybe some people would disagree, but I do like that kind of side loafery type of look in them. And I feel like, you know, Salili did a good job in terms of making them look a bit more rugged and a little bit more substantial. And it continues, says, rework by Bembry um, to form a new, a blight, nameless, um, at this stage silhouette. The shoe arrives with a cozy, fuzzy red upper, blue decorations towards the front with laces slouched to one side, both on the, both of which sit atop a slightly enlarged crepe sole. Um, at the time of writing, drop information is yet to be announced, but if previous clock coverage or anything to go by, at least it's only around the corner. Um, that being said, Clark's looks to have a lot of more in the plate right now with the Vanny, the pink release, and what looks like an up and coming collaboration with Liam Gallagher. Yeah, but we don't care about Liam Gallagher, innit? Like, come on. But yeah, um, the Clark's collaboration looks brilliant. I'm on it. I'm a big fan. I like what I see there. Like what I see there.